Hey guys, Motor Car Not here, and today we're working on a Subaru engine. Uh, doesn't really matter which engine it is, we're talking about piston and piston sizes. Now, on these blocks, all right, uh, if you have the, uh, the FB engine or EJ engine, they usually have two sizes of pistons. Uh, piston, you'll see a piston A and a piston B. Okay, now, how do you know which wood engine you have, uh, which pistons are in there? And, and a lot of times when they bore it, they may bore one just a little bit bigger. Now it needs a piston B instead of a piston A. They do that to keep, you know, the longevity of the engines and, you know, to keep them more tight tolerance so they last longer. But a lot of times you go to buy pistons, especially if you buy aftermarket pistons, you may have a, an engine that has an A, B, B, A, or all Bs or all As, and you're going to get an aftermarket piston set that's going to be in between both, and you're going to get a little bit of a noise or a little bit of a knock because of that and not know why. All right, now, on the back of the engine, uh, well, no, the front of the engine, sorry, that's the back. On the block, you're going to see numbers. Now we zoom them in here. If you can see, the first set it says B and B. Forget about those. All right? See that? B and B. And on this side, it says B and B. So now we know that these have the, the larger size of the pistons that Subaru offers, the B pistons. Now here, I took one out, and to show you, you see, this one says. B. It says RB, meaning right B. But the, the R is for the right side or passenger side of the vehicle, and the B is the size of the piston. Now, I have I've seen these engines A B B A. It doesn't really matter. All right, you can you have to make sure what you have in there. So let's say if you're going to go buy pistons, and if you're not buying factory Subaru pistons because they do have A's and B's. Uh, you're going to end up with problems. I did that a couple of times. You, 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 you mic up the cylinders and, and the pistons, and they're going to be off a little bit. One cylinder may be a little bit off, and it's going to wear in, and you're going to hear that little bit of a knock, a uh, piston slap, and you're not going to know why. And it's because of that. All right, so that's just, a, you know, you can look on your engine. It's hard to see. It's going to have all accessories here. But as you're tearing down the engine and you, you can get to this area or just take off the bracket with the AC, with the, um, what goes here, the uh, alternator and clean it up and you're going to see. So if you're doing a rebuild, all right, you know which pistons to order. These are all Bs. My, my thing with B is to order them from Subaru. If you're keeping the car, you want to keep it for a long time, and the bores are good. These bores are good. Look at these pistons. These, look, the rods are destroyed, but the pistons, even though they're a little bit worn, you can still see, you can still see the lines, the wear lines. In other words, those little microscopic, it's hard to pick it up here, lines that this piston is still in spec. Even though it's worn out a little bit, see those little lines? You see those little hairline lines? They're all the way, especially in the middle. They're all the way through. All right, and these checked out, they're in spec. Just clean them up, clean up the uh, grooves, put new fresh piston rings on there, new rods. You're good to go. The cylinder bores are, are, are fine. They're not scored up. All right, block is good. So that's just a, uh, you know, a quick tip for Motor Car Nut, help you guys out, not make a mistake. I mean, no one's perfect. I've done it in the past, too. You know, no one tells you about this stuff or, you know, it's not it's not public knowledge until I get, tell it to you. All right? So that's one way to take care of a problem you may have with the Subaru engines when you do a rebuild. All right, guys, Motor Car Nut, please subscribe, hit that like button. Any questions? Leave them below pertaining to the video. I answer all my questions. Try to help everybody from a distance as much as I can. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for all the feedback and comments. Thank you.